Hello guys and welcome to this new video and today we are going to talk about asymmetric encryption. I assume that you watched my previous video about normal encryption or symmetric encryption so I won't explain that again. Now let's start immediately by saying that asymmetric encryption has two keys, a public key and a private key. The purpose of the public key is that anyone can have it and the public key is the one used to encrypt the message so everybody can send you encrypted messages but only you with your private key that as the name implies should be kept private can decrypt the message successfully so how do we create those it's really easy you we use the same library um, from last time but this time we import a little bit more dependencies so we import the default backend also we want to import from cryptography dot dot primitives dot asymmetric we want to import rsa and now we will create our private key and we will bring that we will call that private key and that would be the rsa dot generate private key you see done like this and then we have to pass to this function a few arguments such as a public exponent of 65537 for example uh, I won't explain what exactly everything in detail does because otherwise we would be here for four hours and encryption algorithms are complicated I would just explain major things for example key size represents how long your key is the longer it is the safer it is but also do remember that if you make it longer uh, it is going to take more time to encrypt and decrypt messages and the backend is the default backend now once we have a private key we can generate a public key because a public key is a key that is derived from a private key using a mathematical function so we use private key our previously generated private key dot public key to generate a public key for us now how do we store these keys if we want to store them in a file we would need to import an additional thing so from sorry cryptography dot hazmat dot primitives we have to import serialization and then we would have to say Let's say that we want to create um, a private key and a public key file. Uh, these are PEM files saved with .pm extensions. So what I will do is I will create a private key PEM and call that using our private key dot private bytes. And what this is going to do is it is going to uh, return the key in a way that can be written to a file because now if you try to print this sorry we can try actually let me just close it if you try to print now your private key as you can see uh, sorry uh, there's a problem here what is it I didn't put a comma here you can see that it says cryptography dot hazmat object at some place so it will not print out and for it to print out as text you have to use this command and then we would say the encoding of the key uh, is a serialization dot encoding dot pem uh, we would then say that the format of the key is a serialization dot private format dot pck s8 and the encryption algorithm is equals to serialization dot no encryption now what did we do here well it's really simple uh, these are parameters that I used to convert the key in a text format and this serialization.no encryption means that the key will be written in the file 
uh, without any sort of encryption to protect that. So anyone opening that file will be able to read it, which is generally not the best thing. Now, to write it to a file, we'll use the with statement, which is a new thing that I never talked about, and it allows us to, for example, open a file using the open command, and we'll say private key dot pm that we will create. We want to write to this file, and the w uh, will write to the file, and if the file doesn't exist, we'll create that. Sorry, we want to write bytes to the file, so wb as a file, and then we we'll say file dot write uh, our private key pm that we just created. Now, what this is going to do is going to create this file using this open function. So it tries to open a file, it doesn't exist, it creates it because here I told it to write bytes. You, we use this statement as file, so this keyword means this entire statement, and we write to that our private key.pm. Now, once the with statement is over, uh, Python will automatically close the file. To write our public key, we use a slightly different syntax. So the public key pm uh, is equals to our public key dot public bytes this time. So you can see slightly different. And the difference here is that we just have to pass an encoding, which would be the same. So serialization dot encoding dot pm and the second thing that we pass is again a format which is a serialization dot public format this time uh, dot subject public key info now this is again the public key converted to a text readable format and we can copy this code here paste it down just to save some time and create the public key.pm file and obviously we want to write in it uh, the public key pm. Now, as you can see, if we now run this code, it's apparently going to do nothing, but you see that now we have the two pm files, I'm going to show them to you, I'm going to delete them anyways, like this. You can see our public key, which is short, right here, begin and end of public key, and our private key, which is considerably longer, right here. Now, don't worry, I'm going to delete this, I'm not going to do anything important with them, but you can see how they are in text now. Now, let's say that we want to read them, so I, will, I am going to delete all of this code now that I have written in because we generated the public key and private key. Now, to read them, what I will do is I will say with open uh, our private key.pm file, we will start with that private key dot pm we want to read bytes from it uh, and I will call this file I would now say our private key is equal to serialization dot load pm private key this simple function uh, the key itself is con is the file dot read so file dot read will give us the key data uh, the password that we used to encrypt is none because if you remember before we set serialization dot no encryption and the backend is again the default backend so this we have our private key let's retrieve the public one as well just to use it so our public key is equals to load pm public key so again we have the file dot read password dot none is useless because these are not encrypted and backend equals to default backend now let's say that we now want to encrypt a message so uh, we'll have a message equals an input from the user uh, let's do it a little better insert message and then we would say the encrypted message is equal to our public key dot encrypt because we encrypt with the public key and we need to say 
Now here, stay with me because it's going to get a little complicated. Our message. Then, uh, sorry, I have to import a few more libraries for this to be done. So I uh, from cryptography dot hazmat dot primitives. Uh, I have to import hashes, and again this whole thing. I will copy that, paste it, primitives, uh, dot asymmetric, I have to import here the padding, so we'll have to say padding dot oaep, open again parenthesis because this is a, again another function, and you say, now here just copy the code because this gets really complicated, padding dot mgf1 and this again is another function and the algorithm that we use is SHA-256 so you see this oh sorry it's hashes dot SHA-256 then we have the algorithm we specify that again and it is again hashes dot SHA-256 I uh, didn't put the comma here, so this is why it is not getting recognized. And then the label equals to none. So here we have our encrypted message. If we want to decrypt that again, we would have to do like this. So first we print our encrypted message like this, just so we can see that. like this. Now to decrypt we will say that the decrypted message equals to our private key dot decrypt because we decrypt with our private key remember that and it is our encrypted message that we want to decrypt and again padding dot oaep we open that up again and we will copy this whole thing here like this perfectly and we would also want to print our original message which is our decrypted message like this so just to recap here we read the keys we input a message we encrypt it we look at what it looks like and then we decrypt it back sorry i had a few mistakes here I didn't write public key, I wrote again private in the open statement and I hope at least some of you catch that. And here I have to actually encode this because if I do not, it is not going to execute correctly. So I will input test and here we see the encrypted test it is very long, you can see that here. And we have our original message it is again test, we can use the dot decode function to decode that. So here, the original message equals decrypted dot decode. If you use this, again, you can see that we write test and we have test again. I wrote an R at the end, I misclicked. You can see that it works fine. So I'm sorry for the long video. Hope you learned something new today. And I thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.